Picture this. What if Earth got all dressed up with its own twinkly rings? Did you know that Saturn's iconic rings are not just a stunning cosmic feature, but also a fascinating subject of study for astronomers? But what could such a dramatic change mean for our planet? In this video, we're going on an exciting journey into the cosmos. We'll look at how this change could alter our planet, from our skies to our climate and even the way life functions. Unlike Saturn's cool ice rings, Earth's bling would be different. Why? Because we're closer to the sun. That big, fiery ball in the sky would melt any ice, so Earth's rings would be all about the rocks. But these wouldn't be dull, boring rocks. Picture them glistening in the sun, like the moon on a full night, but way brighter. Imagine turning off the streetlights and still having a light show up above. So, how does a planet score these rings? Gravity. It's not just for keeping your feet on the ground. It's like Earth's invisible fishing net, catching everything from tiny dust to big rocks. These bits and pieces end up spinning around the planet in a cosmic merry-go-round. The thing is, in our solar system, it's usually the big gas planets like Jupiter and Saturn that get to flaunt these space hula hoops. Earth and its rocky planet buddies usually miss out on this cosmic trend. And now, for a bit of a space mystery, did Earth ever have rings in its younger days? It's something that makes scientists and space fans scratch their heads. Maybe Earth had a wild phase with its own rings a long time ago, and we're just late to the party. Before we continue our cosmic journey, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you're as fascinated by the idea of Earth with rings as we are. Now, imagine uncovering a hidden chapter in Earth's history, one written in the language of moon rocks and cosmic collisions. Could these clues point to a long-lost ringed past for our planet? The story goes that astronauts from the Apollo missions brought back moon rocks that held tiny glass droplets. These little bits of glass are similar to the particles found in Saturn's rings. Scientists have a hunch that these glass droplets are souvenirs from a massive space crash that happened a long time ago. Picture this, a huge comet, asteroid, or maybe a planet-sized guest named Thea smashing into Earth. This space bash was so big that it sent a bunch of debris flying into orbit around Earth, forming a temporary ring. But there's a lot we still don't know. How exactly did these rings come to be? And more importantly, where did they go? Did they just decide to pack up and leave after a short stay? Some space detectives think these rings were like those relatives who visit for the holidays and then scoot off. Others believe they might have hung around for millions of years, like that one guest who can't take a hint to go home. Now, let's think about a really cool idea. What if Earth had rings right now? How would that change things? If Earth had rings, the biggest change would be how it looks. These rings would be a bright circle of rocks around the planet, but they'd be different from Saturn's rings because they'd be made of rocks and dust, not ice. So they wouldn't shine as much as Saturn's. Now, here's where it gets even cooler. Depending on where you stand on Earth, these rings would give you a different visual treat. Picture yourself at the equator, say in Colombia or Ecuador. Here, the rings wouldn't be this broad band across the sky. Instead, they'd look like a slender line shooting straight up from the horizon. It's like viewing a cosmic ruler standing tall against the backdrop of the stars. This happens because, at the equator, you see the rings side on. But as you move away from the equator, things change dramatically. Travel north or south, and the rings start to spread out. They become wider and more prominent, and in some places, they might even create an illusion of skimming close to the ground. It's as if the rings are playing a game of celestial hide-and-seek with us, changing their appearance based on where we are. But what if Earth suddenly flaunted a dazzling ring system? Beyond the visual spectacle, how would these celestial additions reshape our climate and ecosystems? Prepare to discover how a ringed Earth could turn our world upside down. It would be like the Earth grabbed a giant pair of sunglasses. These rings, made of rocks and dust, would act like a giant sunshade, 
blocking some of the sun's rays. This could potentially lead to a cooler climate globally. In regions that are usually hot, this might seem like a welcome change, offering some respite from the heat. But here's the catch. Plants and animals that love sunbathing might not be too thrilled. Plants, in particular, might miss those golden rays for photosynthesis. So, a decrease in sunlight could affect their growth and, in turn, impact the entire food chain. The gravitational pull from these rings would also create new tidal forces. In areas where the rings are closer to the Earth, we could expect higher tides. Meanwhile, in places further away from the rings, the tides would be lower. Have you ever wondered how a ringed Earth would transform daily life, navigation, and even our global culture? Imagine Earth, with its snazzy new rings, decides to throw shade, quite literally. These rings would be like the ultimate mood lighting, casting shadows and playing with the planet's sunbeam distribution. Sounds fancy, right? These rings would also shake up navigation and communication. Today, we rely a lot on satellites. But if Earth had rings, we'd need to rethink where we put these satellites. They'd have to be placed in orbits that don't crash into the rings. This would be a big challenge for space agencies and companies that depend on satellites for communication, GPS, and more. Interestingly, the rings could help with navigation too. Think back to how sailors use stars to find their way. The rings and any moons moving across Earth could act like markers in the sky. They might help people figure out where they are, even far from land. This could be a game changer for travel and exploration. But here's the silver lining, or should I say, the rock lining. These rings would be an astronomer's dream come true. A celestial treasure chest full of secrets waiting to be uncovered. Studying them would be like solving a cosmic mystery, and astronomers would be the cosmic detectives, piecing together clues from these celestial bands. And let's not forget about our green friends and the animal kingdom. The decrease in sunlight due to the ring's shadow play could put a damper on the plant's photosynthesis. However, there could be a bonus. Cosmic compost. Dust and particles from the rings falling to Earth might just be the extra sprinkle of nutrients plants crave. For the animals, it's a whole new world. Daytime animals, the sun enthusiasts of the animal kingdom, might feel like someone dimmed the lights on their daytime party. With less sunlight, they could become the couch potatoes of the animal world or decide to flip their schedules and become night owls. As for the night-loving creatures, the rings could be their new disco lights, attracting some and sending others running for the cosmic hills. But beyond their celestial beauty, these rings would be more than just ornamental. How might they exert a powerful and unseen force in our planet's very fabric? The gravitational pull from these rings could put extra stress on Earth's crust. Think of it as the rings gently tugging on the planet's outer shell. This tug of war could lead to more frequent volcanic eruptions and earthquakes. The rings could also play around with Earth's rotation and orbit. This cosmic meddling could further fuel tectonic activity. It's like the rings are tweaking the knobs on Earth's geological settings, potentially leading to more shakes and rumbles from the depths. Then, there's the impact on erosion patterns. As Earth struts its new ringed look, particles from these rings would constantly collide with the atmosphere. This bombardment could wear down the upper atmosphere, leading to changes we'd notice down here. We could see shifts in weather patterns and even in the climate. The atmospheric composition might get a remix, altering the air we breathe. So, with all these dazzling possibilities, we have to wonder. What if Earth had rings? How would this change our everyday life, our stories, and maybe even the way we see ourselves as part of the universe?